Hey everybody, welcome to another Paint the Edge Up, where I teach you to make a cool painting in about an hour and get a little drunk doing it. My name is Joel, and today we're going to be learning how to paint this right here. It's called the Teal Landscape, okay? Uh, this one's just kind of fun colors and everything. I really like this style, so I did another one like this. So, um, follow along. I'm going to teach you how to make that today. Um, like I do with all my classes, I'm going to give away a free giveaway painting. All you got to do is correctly answer my completely subjective trivia question, and I will send you a free painting of your choosing. I have too many paintings, and I need to give them away. So, um, all you got to do is uh, comment in the comments uh, when I ask that question, and whoever answers correctly first gets a painting. Uh, also, if you haven't already, search, paint the edge off, like, share, all that stuff. Um, Okay, um, what I'm going to do first, I'm going to tell you what you're going to need for this painting, okay? So, you will need a canvas. I'm using a 16 by 20 canvas. You also want some kind of easel. All right, I've got paper towels, okay? That's good for whoopsie daisies and fixing stuff, wiping your brush off, drying your brush off, and things like that. Um, water cup, okay? This is acrylic paint, so you need some kind of water to mix in with your uh, paint as you go. So, you want some kind of water, water cup. I've also got a blow dryer. Which helps me dry my painting fast. I've got paper plates I use for palettes. If you have a good, nice palette, you know, use that. But I got paper plates because they're cheap and easy. I've got some cheap whiskey. Okay, some good cheap whiskey. Um, that helps me also. Uh, let's see, I've got some tools here. I've got a piece of chalk. Okay, just a piece of sidewalk chalk. Blue sidewalk chalk. You can use any color. Blue tends to show up a little bit better. But that's good for drawing on your dried painting. I've got a pencil. I've got a big flat brush, I have a medium flat brush, I have a medium round brush, and a small round brush, okay? So I'm going to take these four brushes and put them bristled down on my water cup, leave them there when I'm not using them, and then I've got some paint colors here, I've got white, I've got a bright red, okay, I've got phthalo blue, I've got sky blue, okay, I've got a light yellow, and a violet, okay? So those are that's everything you're gonna need for this painting. Um, follow along, chat, have fun. Cheers. Woo! Away we go. Okay, let's get that shot counter going. Boom. Uno shots. Okay, so let's see this painting here. Let's get started. So. First thing you want to do is you want to take your pencil there, all right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by drawing kind of just a, a you know, a, just a, a, a general uh, sketch here of my landscape. Okay, so I'm going to go up about halfway up my canvas or so, make a little mark there. All right, there's my little mark. Okay, and I'm going to just make a little mountain that kind of comes down here. It's going to go a little left, or sorry, right of the center. All right, and that's going to be there. That's where one of them is. Okay, and I'm going to have another one that kind of comes up here. All right, and there's my other line. Okay, I'll draw that darker so you can see that. There we go. Okay, and that's kind of where that is. Okay, now, in the middle, there's going to be a little uh, river that kind of goes through here. Um, we're going to basically paint over that, so we'll have to paint that back in anyway. So don't worry too much about that. Okay, then I've also got um, a couple other little mountains here in the back. These are the real far-off mountains, okay? So I'm going to draw one there, and let's have another one. That kind of goes up there. Okay, now that's all the drawing we're doing. Congratulations, you're done drawing. Congratulations, you're a landscape drawer now. It's an official, professional landscape drawer. Let's take a shot. Ah, okay. Shot two. Okay, let's um, start with our sky. We're going to start with this pink color, and then we're going to blend in some light yellow. Then we'll do our orange uh, mountains. Give it a little blow dry, move on down here, and keep going that way. Okay? Okay? All right, let's take some white. All right, let's take some red. Now, we're not going to need much red. Same with yellow. We're not needed. We're not going to need much yellow, but get all three of those colors on there. That's too much red and yellow, probably. Whatever. I'll use it later. Let's take our big brush out of our water cup here. Tap it off so we feel fancy. And let's take our brush here, and let's start by stirring that water in with our white paint. Okay, so let's just get that all stirred in. And, yeah, there we go. So, um... 
Let's take just a little tiny bit of this red. We want a very light, light pink. So just a tiny drop of red will do and a whole bunch of white. Now, I do want to mix up a lot here so um, I can make... I don't have to remix this because I want this to blend, which means I want to move fast and blend it while it's still wet. Okay, but let's get that light pink mixed up. And let's start up here at the... Start up here at the top. And let's just brush that right across the top. There we go. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go about halfway down the sky here. And she can always see Okay, there we go. This is why I mix up a lot, because I'm already go through that pretty quick. Okay, let's take that down to, yeah, about halfway down the sky there. Mix that, blend that in, or sorry, cover, we're not blending yet. Um... Take that down, yeah, there we go. Okay, pretty good. All right, let's go ahead and wash your brush out. I just swish it back and forth. Now, you don't need to violently stab the cup. You know, a lot of people are just like, uh, you don't need to do that. Okay, this is, uh, now, old Bob Ross, he'd say beat the devil out of it. Now, he's using big hog hair brushes with oil paint. Those you do have to kind of beat the crap out of. Uh, synthetic brushes you use for something like acrylic paint or watercolor those are very delicate soft brushes okay so i'd recommend not beating the devil out of those um as fun as it is because uh, you will just destroy your brush okay let's get some more white all right let's take some of this white and yellow make a nice light yellow here there we go maybe a little bit more yellow uh, it's kind of up to you how saturated you want this guy to be but i do want it to be pretty light Okay, and let's take this, and let's just start kind of filling in this bottom part. All right, now I'm going to kind of, I'm going to show you there. You can kind of see the color a little bit clearer there. Um, I'm going to take this and first kind of go along these mountains, so I kind of make that edge nice and solid. I'll have to sit there and uh, try to try to get that just right as I'm going down with my paint. All right, there we go. Now I'm just going to fill that in all the way across. Okay, and what we'll do is we'll just blend that in up here. Okay, just give it a nice blending. Okay, now what I want to do here is once I get that paint, those colors butted up to each other, I don't need to add more paint to my brush or anything. I just need to take my brush and blend in what's there. So I'm just going to go back and forth over that edge where they're meeting and just brush, brush, brush until it's blended. Now, blending is all about knowing when to stop, okay? You could do this all day long and, uh, you know probably wouldn't be the best. So you want to know when to stop. Okay, here we go. That's a nice blend there. Goes from yellow to red pretty good. I'll go ahead and paint my edges here while I'm doing that. And you know what else? I'm going to take a shot here in a minute. And yeah. Let's get a little bit more of this pink. And we'll go ahead and paint those edges. Then we'll dry. No, then we'll do the mountains. The other mountains. Then we'll dry. Then do some more mountains. Um... So yeah, how's everybody's week going? Merry uh, Christmas to everybody. I haven't, I missed last week, unfortunately. Um, a lot of stuff, when we coming back from Christmas at work, a bunch of people have COVID and are just being careful and getting tested and stuff. So I had to work some extra hours. I could not be here last Wednesday and I apologize. Let's take a shot though, you know, pour one out for my homies and we'll keep going. <sighs> Let's see, did anybody get any cool Christmas presents? Hmm? Okay, I'm going to take my brush. I'm going to mix up a nice orange color here as I drop my brush. Um, let's mix up some yellow, a little bit of red. Now, you need more yellow than red here to make a good orange. Red's a much stronger color. So, so this will be kind of a yellowy orange. I'm going to add some white to this. Lighten it up a little bit. Yellow is your main ingredient here. Oh, sheesh, I have too much red again. But I do want to make a lot of this, so let's mix up a nice big pile. A nice big pile. Similar to my cat's litter box. Lots of big piles, okay? You know, since having this cat, cats are cool. I like cats, but... Oh, man. Pooping in the house. 
got to change those litter box all the freaking time. It's not my favorite thing to do. Here we go. Okay. One mountain down. Let's take a little bit more red here. Mix up a darker orange or a more reddish orange. In turn becomes DACA. Okay, let's take that. Now let's paint this one in a little bit darker than the one on the right. So it stands out. You can see that edge. Boom. All right. Now I'm not too worried about if I go over this line here or that line. Uh, this is going to dry and I'll just paint over it, okay? You may, it's, it's better to have your paint go over a little bit than to leave some empty white space, okay? So that's why I'm doing that. Okay, let's wipe our brush off. Let's get, um, one thing I do like to do is take a little bit of white. And I like to go along the bottom section here and then kind of mix this in. Kind of make it a little lighter towards the bottom. A nice little gray, little blend there. Okay, now this is kind of gives you that kind of like fog or something, you know, when you look at mountains in the distance. For some reason, I don't, I'm not a scientist. I don't know why, but I know they always kind of look like this. Okay, there we go. So I just kind of lighten them up a little bit on the bottom. A little darker on the top. Okay. Um, yeah, let's, that's a good stopping point. Maybe I'll paint my side edges while I'm here. So I kind of keep painting my side edges as I go down here. Okay, let's take a shot. And let's do some trivia. Okay, shot first, then trivia. Let's blow dry while we're doing this. Okay, um... Trivia question. Today. Well, I'll get to that in a second. Cheers. Ooh. Uh. Okay. Today's trivia question is: uh, Which of these famous scientists had mad drip? Okay. Was it Galileo, uh, Marie Curie, Charles Darwin? Uh, D, scientists or nerds. E, Albert Einstein. F, Isaac Newton. G, all of the above. Or H, Thomas Edison. Okay. Again, which of these famous scientists had mad drip? That's your trivia question for today. Um, answer first in the comments. I will send you a free giveaway painting. Okay, we've got a nice little background. What's up, Gala? Okay, Purdy says G, all of the above. Purdy, what's new? What's good? Uh, let's see, did you guys get any uh, awesome uh, Christmas presents? What's up, Columbus, Ohio? Let's see, that's probably dry enough, yeah. Um, what's up, guys? Okay, so we've dried that. Let's um, keep going here. <clears throat> okay, so what I want to do now is mix up a nice light purple. Now, again, orange and purple make a terrible color. A real shit color. Let's wash our brush out real good. Make sure that's real nice and clean. Now let's get a new plate with purple and white. <clears throat> or a new spot on your palette. If you... Uh, oh, that's blue. Whoops. Purple. Purple and white. Alright, let's take our big brush out of our water cup, tap it off so you feel like a fancy ass artist. And let's take our brush, stir it in there with that white paint. Oh crap, lots of yellow in there. Still. Oh crap. Let's see, did you guys get anything cool for Christmas? I. You know, like every year, I do, I get lots of presents for my family. I don't know, I just like, I just like buying presents. When I have money to buy presents, I like to buy lots of presents. And this year, I wasn't able to be with my family for Christmas because we kind of do this thing where we rotate Thanksgiving and Christmas with uh, my girlfriend's family every year. So this year, we went to uh, Thanksgiving at my folks, but Christmas at hers. So I wasn't able to be there. Now, I went up early, before Christmas, like the week 
you know, a few days before Christmas, dropped off the presents that I got, right? Nobody. And they were pretty sick presents, okay? And, you know, then I'm like, hey, um, I'll take any presents you got for me, too, by the way. Okay, I've got light purple. we got that pretty light colored purple, okay? And let's just go ahead and fill this whole section in down here. Um... So I was like, hey, yeah, ha, ha, well, and, uh, you know, I'll take any presents you got for me. They're like, ha, ha, no presents. No presents for me. My dad did kind of make me some. My dad's got a laser cutter, and he's been just freaky. He's just been, you know, shit in his pants. He's just, he loves this laser cutter, which is pretty cool, but he's, like, obsessed with it. He kind of made me something. But, um, yeah, no one got me presents. I was a little hurt. But we went to my girlfriend's parents for Christmas, and we do kind of like a, they pick like, they kind of like a secret Santa kind of thing, where you pick one person, and they buy you presents or whatever. So her sister-in-law, her brother's wife, uh, got me, and she got me a bidet, so... I was kind of surprised. Um, was kind of also wondering what what about me screams I need a bidet. But, um, you got cold for Christmas, Purdy? Well, you probably deserved it, you know? Sack, you don't care. Um, well, at least you got something. I guess I guess, uh, I guess I did get a bidet, so. Um, but yeah, all in all, good Christmas, I suppose. A little weird not being with my family for the first time ever in my life for Christmas, but whatever. Okay, so we've got this painted in uh, all nice and uh, light purple. One thing we do want to do before we move on is take a shot. And also I'm going to take a little bit of light, excuse me, light red. Dale came to visit you for Christmas? From England? Is that what you said? And nobody Dang, girl. You got bros in different area codes. Cheers. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's kind of interesting getting used to a bidet, though. I'll say that. Um, the first time I used it, I was just kind of like... Okay, here we go! You know, and I kind of was like, got a little high pitch in my voice there for a minute when I was using it. But, um, you know, I don't know. It's kind of interesting. I've always thought about it because I'm like, you know, what as one does when they're wiping their ass, they're like, there's got to be a better way. This just doesn't seem like uh, the best route. Okay, I'm going to take some red here with my pink and make just a little bit darker pink than, the, than, we, were, than we were using for the sky. And what I want to do here is I want to, I'm going to kind of set, um, you know, this the blue kind of represents the trees here and where those are. Um, oh, you and Dale have been dating for two and a half years now? I didn't know that. I just assumed you're a friend. So did you get some Christmas booty? <laughs> um, <laughs> that made me laugh. Um, oh, yeah. Did he propose, Gala? Okay, let's take some, let's take this pink and I'm just going to kind of blend this. I'm just going to. Not randomly, but kind of just throughout this section here. Now, I'm going to leave a little section like here empty, okay? I'm going to imagine there's a little hillside here and this mountain that's going down. Um, one thing you can do is you can kind of like draw out where your mountain's going to be, kind of. We can kind of set this little edge here where we know we're going to put a little water stream going through there later. But for right now, let's take some of this light red. Now, I'm kind of jazzing it up from where it was in the original painting. Okay, now my original painting, not too jazzy. Uh, in this section. It seemed a little boring to me, so I'm jazzing it a little bit. Over here on the right side, I'm not going to do it as much, but, you know, somewhat. Let's get a little bit of red going on in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, F, yeah. Now, again, I can kind of set, okay, here's where my river's going to go, and then kind of just spread this out, you know, just really lightly, really loosely. Don't think about it too much. Just kind of put that in there. Don't think about it too much. Just put it in there, right, Gala? Like, like, no, I'm kidding. But it would be really great. <laughs> he definitely stuffed her stocking. Uh, <laughs> oh, you played to get married. That's cool. Okay, <laughs> got some Christmas in there. 
All right, let's wash our brush in a little bit. Let's get a little bit more purple. And what I'm gonna do now, before I move on, take a little bit of my purple in here with my light purple, and let's go ahead and get a little, just a slightly darker light purple here. Okay, so that's just a little darker than the, than the one before. And I'm gonna take that, and again, now this is where I'm gonna kind of set out maybe some shadowy areas in my, underneath my tree lines, you know? Maybe there's a little tree line here, which is a little dark there. Maybe it's a little darker there. You know, just kind of spread this around a little bit. Don't go crazy with it. Okay, something like that. Now, we're gonna cover a lot up, not not the whole thing, but we'll, this is just kind of a little undertones for what for the blue later, okay? All right, let's uh, take a shot and blow dry, keep moving. Uh, you know, Christmas Nookie might be the best gift of all, you know, so congratulations. I think Christmas Nookie's better than a bidet. Did he clean your asshole, huh? <laughs> Cheers. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay, once again, trivia question. Which of these famous scientists had mad drip? Now, if you're confused on drip, um, it's basically, you know, the same as swag, sauce, you know, steez, swank, we all know. Such as, you know, my outfit be dripping. Yeah, it's mad wet. So... Ooh, that clears it up. Which of these scientists had mad drip? A. Galileo. B. Marie Curie. I don't know how to say her name. Charles Darwin. Scientists or nerds. Albert Einstein. Isaac Newton. All of the above. Or Thomas Edison. All right, now Purdy's already guessed G. All of the above. So that one's off the tapes. Oh, that dried pretty quick, actually. That was pretty quick dry there. Oh, man. Let's see. I was watching... I'm trying to think what I watched. I watched Jingle All The Way. And, uh... I don't know if anybody knows this, but they made a Jingle All The Way 2 with Larry the Cable Guy. Four. Four times. Okay, Galilea says... Uh, Galatea says H. Thomas Edison. All right, so G and H are off the table, everybody. Okay, let's take our let's take our small flat brush here. Let's take it out, tap it off. I'm gonna take the trivia question down for a minute, and let's take a little bit of white. My white. Get some more white here. And let's go. Um, I'm gonna take a new plate. White paint. All right, I can get my brush stirred around in there. And I'm gonna take a little bit of my light orange and mix that in. A little bit like so. And I wanna make this very, very light. So, I mean, just a drop of some other yellowy, orangey color. I wanna make this super light. So I might even, oh jeez, I'm gonna just, oh jeez. Already, okay. More white, lighten it up even more. I want this to be almost white. Oh, and you know what? I'm actually using the wrong brush. I want to take my medium round brush. Okay, my mistake. Medium round brush. Take that uh, brush. Get this in here. Now, this would be a good time to take your chalk and draw in where your um, river is going to be. I'm just going to draw it in right here. Boom. There we go. Maybe I'll make it go. We'll pop this up on the edge so I can get to the bottom. All right. Gonna get to the bottom like my bidet gets to my bottom. Okay, let's take our, our our medium round brush and let's trace this in. Let's just go nice and light. Now down here I can make it a little bit bigger. Let's go back and make that a little more gradual. There we go. Now we've got our little our little stream, our little river stream. Whatever that is. Okay, now let's go back to our medium flat brush and let's wipe it off. We should have never gotten that color on there to begin with. I am a fool. 
Oh man. Wash it out real good. What I'm gonna do now is I wanna take my sky blue. Okay? I can use this plate. Sky blue. Alright, let's take a little bit more. Well, we got enough white on here. Let's take our brush. Let's uh, wash it out. Get some blue and some white. Mix this, uh, this sky blue and this white up so we have an even lighter sky blue. Got a lot of that. Now what I want to do is kind of take this dry brush effect. Just kind of, just gonna kind of scribble in some little blue. We're gonna imagine this is, uh, imagine this is green, okay? And you're painting the tops of trees. Okay. Now what I want to do is kind of just scribble this in, okay? Now one thing I might do is leave some of these dark purple sections, like maybe take some right above those, where it's kind of like that's the shadow underneath some of these blue trees, okay? And then. You know, just kind of scribble this in. Leave some parts showing that purple and reds underneath, but get some of that blue on top, okay? Hey, it's Sherry. What's up, Sherry? Sherry, I want you to know I haven't forgotten about your painting. I'm going to send it. I just... The last few weeks have been a little busy for me, okay? Sherry, get off my back, okay? Just kidding. I love you, Sherry. Thanks for tuning in. Sherry, I'll put the trivia question up in a minute. The trivia question is today is uh, which of these famous scientists had mad drip? Okay, so ponder that before I get the answers up, but that will be the question. I'll give you your options in a minute. Okay, so I'm basically just taking this light blue and I'm just kind of, I'm kind of doing a little dry brush, just scribble. I kind of want to see some of those purples and reds through the blue. And I'm going to stop before I, now right here I'm setting the edge. This is kind of where this is, this is in front of that, you know, the, the water is going behind this mountain, so I'm going to take that down and draw a hard line right on top of that water so that I see that that's in front. Lock so. Then I could put some down here even. But I'm going to kind of stop right here. I'm going to leave this little section open. As if to suggest trees and then like a little blank open section on the mountainside. Okay, over here on the right I'm going to do kind of the same thing. Just kind of scribble this in over here, you know, especially along the top of that mountainside. And then in here, I'm just going to kind of start, you know, a little more sparse, but just kind of spread it out randomly, make some thick spots and blues, some thin spots. You just have a good time. You know, let those colors just dance together. Let them just dance. Let them grind up on each other, okay? Your blue and your purples are at a nightclub and they're getting frisky. Okay? They're getting frisky like Galatea and Dale. Here we go. So I'm going to take this blue and bring this down my mountainside there. These are kind of my, my little treesies. And, yeah. We're moving right along here. Now, um... We do want to go in, maybe put some... Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. There we go. Okay, let's take a shot. We've uh, gotten through, um, you know, a good pa a good part of this. It's very frisky, is it, Gala? Okay, um, Sherry, today's trivia question. Here's your options for who has the most drip. Now, Sherry, as I've described before, drip refers to having... Your outfits is uh, it's wet. It's it's dripping so much, meaning your ice is melting from your fiery hot bars that you're spitting. Okay, so that that should help. Um, there's your answers. You know, you got Gal Galileo and uh, Isaac Newton in there, and some Charles Darwin. Who had the mad? Who had mad drip? Okay. Ugh. Um, let's see. Swag. I see. Let's see. Purdy says your painting looks great, Jill. You haven't lost your touch. Okay. Did you think I was? What did something show you that I was losing my touch? Now I'm like in my thoughts, like 
Nah, I'm in my. You got me in my feels. Um, am I? What? Something suggested that I've lost my touch lately. I'm getting so defensive over this. <laughs> Purdy, you drinking an IPA today? Ooh, Sherry says Einstein, which was, I think, was that E? Yeah. Okay, E, G, and H are all taken. Sherry says E. Okay, let's take some white. And one thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to take a little white, and I'm going to put a little, little sauce on this, church it up a little bit there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm putting a little light here, so there's going to be a little a little sun, a little setting sun right here. Okay, it's going to be right there in between this little crevasse. Okay, and I'm going to put a little flat, kind of right there to show that, oh, there's a little highlight there. Oh, the sun is setting and it's hitting the side of this mountain and it's light right there, okay? Okay, there we go. Now, now this is going to be hard to see on the camera, but I'm going to paint a white sun right here. If you want to take your chalk and draw a little circle right here, you can. I'm gonna free ball it, okay? I'm a uh, free ball in here, okay? Let's take this and let's just, I'm just gonna free, I'm just, I wanna do it right here, right above, right in this little section, right in between where these two mountains are. And I'm gonna put it right there. Alright. Boom. Oh, let's see. There we go, look a couple mountains. With our little moon set right there, there's perfect looking mountains there. Um, so, um, <laughs> and yes, yeah, gonna, you're gonna have five IPAs to celebrate with me? Cool. Let's take a little uh, break. Let's take a shot. Oh, wait, you know what? Before I do that, what I wanna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of my. Mm, let's take some of this light, pink, or some of this pinkish color here. And let's take a little bit of white and some pink. And I'm going to take this and kind of put a little of that red. Ooh, I like that. I don't know why, but I like it. Ooh, there we go. That looks nice. Maybe I'll put a little bit of this in here, too. Just to fudge around. Just not too much. Don't go crazy with it. Because if you don't like it and you frick your painting up, you're not going to be happy. Fade out. You'll be un as unhappy as I was with my Christmas presents I didn't get from my family. Really kind of hurt, you know, like... Got them all as presents. No one, no, even like, hey, we got presents for you. No one even mentioned getting the presents. Like, hey, we got you presents too. Don't worry. Nothing. I did get some thank you for the generous presents, which was, you know, which is nice. That's why I got them. Let's take a shot. Oh, God. Okay, um. These mountains remind me, we just watched, uh, me and my girlfriend just watched all the Lord of the, all the uh, Hobbits. And now we're in the middle of the Lord of the Rings ones. And uh, those mountains remind me of the mountains from The Hobbit, the dwarf mountain, dwarves mountains there. You know what's funny about that movie is like, basically the whole Hobbit movies, there's like these 12, 13 dwarves, and they're going on this journey to get back to this mountain and retake and basically take the mountain back from this, uh, you know, yes, the Misty Mountains. Take this mountain back from the, the dragon. And they just go through all these times, they keep getting caught. They all just get caught and fucked and like, oh, we can't do anything. And all these people just, over, like, three trolls overpower them. And But then at the very end of the third movie, when they're fighting this big war, it's like then all of a sudden there are these amazing warriors that can just go through hordes of enemies. And it's just like, where was this in, like, the first and second movies when a handful of, like, you know goblins killed, you know, completely imprisoned you, you know? Um, Purdy says, hey Joe, what do you call a hill full of cats? Um, I don't know, Mount Pussy, uh, Line, Meowntin, a Meowntin. I've heard that one before. I knew I could, yep.
Oh, cheers. Ah. Oh. Okay. Here's the trivia options again if anyone wants to guess. I heard the new Spider-Man was pretty good. Yeah, I said you got to see the new uh, Spider-Man in the second Venom movie. The Venom movies I haven't seen, but those look kind of interesting. Okay. Um, okay. Now, we've gotten our background in. Let's go ahead and put our trees in. So what I want to do is I want to take our blue chalk here. All right. And let's draw in four trees. No, five trees. Now, this one on the left is going to come up to about, right about where the yellow and pink are mixing. That's going to be our tall one right here. Okay, this is a tall one. I'm just going to draw a line right there. Okay. I'm going to put your phone down. Let's give a little bit of space, a few finger lengths there. Let's draw another one. Just barely comes over that mountain. Okay, let's draw another one. This is kind of, they're kind of going down. Those are kind of evenly spaced down. It's kind of bugging me. So, let's erase this. I'm just going to lick my finger. Now, that chalk will come off with water or spit. Okay. There we go. That's a little more different. And we're going to have the tallest one over here on the right. Now, this one's going to go up real high. And I like for it to come down across this river down here. I like it to kind of... I'm going to get a little further to the left. There we go. Okay, now just keep licking your finger and getting that chalk off. Alright, it tastes... Mmm. Oh, so chalky. Kind of dries your tongue out and gives you this terrible taste. Um, but it settles your heartburn. Basically, you could use, you know, Tums, or you just eat chalk. Actual chalk. What do you think they make Tums out of? Actual chalk. Just go right to the source. I eat these uh, whenever my stomach, I get a lot of heartburn. Uh, let's see, when those kid loves them, so she likes to tell me she doesn't care, Spider-Man. She doesn't care for Spider-Man, but loves Venom. You know, I have... I love Spider-Man. I think Spider-Man's cool as shit. But, um, I will say this. After, what is this? Was it the eighth Spider-Man movie since, whatever, 2000, since the Tobey Maguire ones? Um, I'm sure the new ones are cool. I don't, I'm, I'm, I think, I'm sure they're entertaining. It's really just more of a thing with, in general with movies nowadays where everything's a reboot. They haven't made anything original in a long time. And it gets pretty frustrating to me. That all they do is they just keep telling the same story. Oh, what's Spider-Man doing? And it's the same thing with Batman. Batman, they just keep rebooting. And it's just, like, oh, this, this new Batman's oh, it's going to be so cool and dark and gritty. And I'm like, they're all dark and gritty. Who gives a shit? Like, tell, tell me a different story. Like, at some point, who cares about Batman? You know, like, I think we've heard the story 8,000 times. Okay? All right? Um, but yeah, I'm sure the new I heard this new Spider-Man movie is awesome, but I'm, like, at this point with a lot of these stories where I'm like, you know, I'll wait for something new, you know, I don't know. It's like even that Matrix movie. It's kind of interesting that, because that's been a long time since they've made them. And it's a, it's a one standalone trilogy that they remade. It's a little different, but it's re-watching it, and I'm like, okay, I don't know. I didn't finish it, so I need to finish it and have a real formal opinion. Um, the new Spider-Man, yeah, it's about like the multiverse, and it's like, com it's connecting all the stories and blah, 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 whatever. I'm just tired of Spider-Man. I'm tired of all those superheroes. I'm tired of... Oh, you saw the new Matrix? What do you think of that one? Okay, let's take our purple. I'm just taking straight purple, homie. Okay, I'm gonna get some straight purple on my brush. And I'm gonna start painting in um, just kind of the idea of like a little bit of a tree here. Okay, now what I wanna do is I'm gonna kind of start do some little diagonals like this. You see that? That's kind of your your go-to technique here. Um, how was the new Matrix movie though, Gala? While I'm painting, you tell me about that. Okay, um, but what I wanna do here is as I go down, I'm gonna start I'm gonna stay 
really skinny. I mean, I'm not going to get real wide. Okay, I'm going to stay pretty much the same length because what will happen when you start getting wide is, you know, it's just like in life, you know? You eat one donut and you're like, well, I've got room for a little bit more and I'll be okay. I'll stop. I won't get too wide. And then what happens? You're a big fat ass in like a month, two months, you know? Um, so I'm going to not do that. Okay, I'm going to not get really much wider. And then I can go back and make it wider at the bottom if I want to. But right now, now I might make it a little thicker, a little bit more purple at the bottom. Like there's thicker, um, you know, more leaves and stuff out there. Okay. But I'm going to stick pretty close. See, I didn't get very wide. Okay, I kept it. Oh, I'm blocking it. I didn't get real wide. Okay, I kind of kept it. Now I can go back. Or I can make certain parts wider. I can make some parts wider. But it's it's just it's just unwise to try to guess from the very top exactly how wide you're going to get. You'll mess up, okay? No one's perfect, okay? We can't all be Spider-Man, okay? And... Okay, there we go. Now let's do that for each one of these, okay? Um, let's see. It was good. I was hoping for... It's as good as I was hoping, but still good and tied up some loose ends. Okay. I kind of want to watch it. I always I like the Matrix movies as for what they were. They were interesting stories. Something different, you know? That's my whole biggest thing right now. Is everything's a reboot. Nothing's original. Like, tell an original story. Someone just sit down in a room and just throw darts at a wall and... Make something different. I just, I can't watch another Batman movie. This new one with whatever his name is, Edward Pattinson and Fart Captainson or whatever his name is. I just, I'm sure he's, he's a great actor, whatever. I don't care. I just don't care anymore about Batman. Like, it blows my mind that people still get excited for these movies. I'm just like, it's like what? I don't know. What is going on with your lives that you're so... This is all you have to look forward to? A new Batman movie? Like, if I have to hear about Batman and the Joker anymore in my life, and have see people getting excited about it... Like, okay, I will say that Joker movie with Joaquin Phoenix was interesting. It was a different... Didn't feel like a Batman movie at all. It just felt like a sad story of a guy. Which was still much more interesting than fucking Batman and the Joker. But, you know, after that, I'm like, I think I'm at my limit here. You know what shit I like was, um, if I'm going to go superhero, The Boys on Amazon Prime, that was cool. Um, so was Invincible. Those shows were cool as shit. Like, they were different, you know, based on comic movies and stuff. You want to go see the new Top Gun movie? Why? The old one even sucked. I never cared for the old one. I'm just gonna let me be honest with you. Who cares? Oh, these flyboys are. <laughs> you love Top Gun? You're just a horn dog. You like seeing guys in there shirtless playing volleyball. <laughs> Gallus says, "Yep, that was it." Uh, okay. Get my shot counter up again. Hey, Sherry agrees with me. Sherry didn't. Sherry didn't care for Top Gun. That's because Sherry's a real one. Okay. Okay, so I'm taking these down. I'm gonna do this other tree over here, and I'm gonna do the same thing. Now, these tall ones, especially. Don't get super wide. Keep them about the same width the whole way down. Then you can go back and thicken them up. Um, let's see. The whole reason you played volleyball in middle school was what? To see half naked boys. <laughs> You're canceled, Galatea. Consider, consider yourself canceled. You and Dale have been dating that long? I didn't know that. By the way, Galatea is a, is a uh, young woman that I play Overwatch with a lot. And is a fierce Reinhardt. Some would say irresponsible Reinhardt, but not me. I would never say that. 
Some people might say, you know, compromises the whole team, but not me. I would never say that. Okay. Um, some people would say terrible. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, but no, I. Galate is an amazing Overwatch player that I play with, and uh, she does always play with this guy named Dale that I just thought was a friend online. I'm finding out today they've been dating for two, for like two and a half years or one and a half years. Um, <laughs> so, um, and then he just came to visit her on Christmas from England. Man, you e-girls in your, you know, long-term, long-distance relationships, huh? I guess that's what you got to do, right? Okay, we got all the purple of our trees in. We we did it. Okay, we're 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 moving we're moving towards the end here. We're getting close. Okay, getting close. Two and a half years, Galatea. Wow, that's amazing balls. Okay, let's take another shot. And uh, okay, so what we're gonna do next? We're gonna take a light green, put a little light green in here to make a little tree, a little tree bark, a little the tree limbs and stuff, a little faint suggestions of tree limbs, and then we'll go back with our blue. Okay, and we'll put that in there. Okay. Um, he hasn't seen, even seen him since before the pandemic. Wow. So he came over to see you. You guys have been dating two and a half years. He lives in England and you live in... Where? Kentucky? I don't know where you live. I forgot. Hey, today's trivia question is... Which of these famous scientists had the had mad drip? Is it A. Galileo, B. Marie Curie, C. Charles Darwin, D. Scientists or nerds, E. Albert Einstein, F. Isaac Newton, G. All of the above, H. Thomas Edison. Now, G, H, and E have all been guessed. Okay, so. Um. Okay. Okay. Uh, Gallus says flight between UK and US was halted till a few months ago. Right. 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 Uh, Purdy, I'm home, cracked open an IPA, let's fucking go. Okay, let's go. Um, Gal, I live in South Dakota. Purdy says, sorry about your Detroit Lions. Oh my god, don't bring it up. What am I even gonna, I don't even care at this point about the Detroit Lions. You live in South Dakota? Is there, there's nothing in South Dakota is what I've heard, except the Badlands, which does seem cool, but... From what I've heard, South Dakota sucks. So what's he think when he comes over? He's just like, I guess it's big, but, you know. You know, America's not as big as I thought it was. Kid, those maps are all inflated to make America look bigger. Do you sell kits with canvas paint for classes? It'd be really cool if I could order everything I needed for a class beforehand. You know, Mikey, I'm actually glad that you brought that up. That's crazy. <laughs> And then Mikey also says the Lions always suck. It's nothing new. Thanks, Mikey. You know, Mikey, you did a good job, actually. This feels like... It almost feels like I was set you up to say this because I literally was talking to my dad about this the other day that I want to make a... Uh, um, a package. I think what I want to do is do a package to put on Amazon where you can buy, like, a starter kit and then kits for each painting. Okay, so you did a good job there at first. But then you just shit all over my line, so... <laughs> to my key, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I think you know that. Oh, you and Skizzy live in the same city? I did not know that. Are you guys like besties? You hang out? Okay, let's take our brush. Let's mix up a nice lot green. So let's get some yellow and some thalo blue. Well, you know what? I got some thalo blue right here. Let's get some more yellow. Etsy? Okay, fine, fine. Mikey says make an Etsy account. Fine, Mikey, I guess I'll make an Etsy account. You're gonna bully me into it. Okay, so I'm mixing some yellow and some blue. Lots of yellow. Very yellowy green. And... Let's take a my white. To a nice light yellowy green. Mmm. Color is delicious. Isn't it weird when people say like delicious? Like in a way, it's like that. It's so strange to me. Like that's delicious. Like 
And when women say it, it's weird, but it's even weirder when guys say it, right? Like, I'm always imagining women saying, like, no oh, that's delicious. And that's, like, silly and kind of stupid sounding. But then when a guy's like, she's delicious, it's like, that's so fucking creepy. Um, anyway, I'm gonna, let's take our brush. I'm going to, I'm wiping it off because I want to flatten it out. So you can kind of scrape it off on the side if you need. I kind of mixed up now my brush. Brush is kind of blobby, so I'm going to take it now, flatten it out, scrape it down, press it down, flip it over, press it down, and get a nice, thin brush. Okay, you can kind of see the thin there. Um, let's see, what are you guys saying to me? Mount Rushmore, okay. Custer State Park. Um, yeah, but how often do you go there? Do you ever go do that? Do you ever go to Mount Rushmore? Mikey, you cannot tell the twos that I'm illegally streaming music because I have their permission, okay? Bitch. I've known Isaac since sixth grade, alright? <laughs> she used to work for your mom. Okay, um, alright, let's take some light green. What I want to do here is I want to paint some, basically like, a tree trunk and some limbs. So, now I'm not going to make this a solid tree trunk, but, you know, kind of a little dotted line there kind of thing where... It's the uh, impression of a tree, tree trunk and limbs. <laughs> Mikey, how would you even let the twos know that I was done? Do you even know them? Do you think that you know them? Do you think they would ever listen to you? You've been blackballed in the music community. So I'm going to do that on each one of these trees here. A little tree trunk. Now, if you haven't dried your purple and you get some green mix of purple, you look at kind of a poop color there. Uh, so I just kind of, I'm just kind of wiping it off. This is what the paper towel is good for a lot. And go in, get some more of that green paint, you know, you'll be fine. But the smart thing to do is probably just dry your purple first. Where you live, what you see, there are places in between. Okay, uh, Mikey, do you want to guess the trivia question? The trivia question is, which of these famous scientists had mad drip? Alright, there's your options. Tell me what you think. Okay, every time I get purple on brush, I'm just wiping it off with my paper towel. Getting some more clean, bright green. We're getting to the to the end here, so if you want to win a free painting, answer the trivia question before it's too late. Gal, are you gonna play Overwatch with me after this? Gal, play Overwatch with me after this. Okay, so there's that. Let's go ahead and I am gonna blow dry it now and take a shot. Um, yeah, okay, let's blow, I'm almost done with this painting, so it won't be too long. Let's give this a nice blow dry, take one more shot, and we'll keep going. Shot 11 for me. It's been a good day. Hi ho! Hi ho! Okay, now let's take our our flat brush here. Wash it out. Like I was saying, green and purple make poop. You don't want to paint poop on your canvas. Unlike some artists, you don't want poop on your canvas. Who was that artist that literally painted with shit? And they got, you know, they had 15 minutes of fame basically. I was like, well, this artist pee all over their canvas. All that gimmick stuff. Mm. 
Cover up some of these stems now with purple. Kind of, so I want this. These tree limbs look like they're intertwining with all that stuff. Okay. Um, Sherry says I'm glad the day's almost over. Well, long day for you. Did you have to work today, or just uh, counting down the days. You said, glad the day's almost over. It's five o'clock. It's kind of right in the middle of it. What time do you go to bed, Sherry? You go to bed at seven o'clock? Which is very possible, and there's nothing wrong with that. Or do you just give up on the day halfway through? <laughs> Okay, I gotta blow dry one more time. We might as well take another shot. <sighs> okay, last step coming up after this. Okay, um. Okay, let's take a shot. Ah. Okay, so last thing I do now, like I said, I've done a few things a little different than I did in my original painting. One thing I'm going to do different here at the end is I'm going to put um, some of my thalo blue. Instead, of, Before I just used sky blue by itself with no white mixed in, which is essentially the same color as I did in the background here with this blue. I'm going to take thalo blue and add a bunch of white. I just want to differentiate the color a little bit from the background. Okay. <laughs> Oh, Sherry, sure, you go to bed at 1 a.m. Okay, well, you mean the day's almost over, and now you're ready for night. Because you're a night owl. Sherry's, Sherry, you like Batman at night? you like, it's nighttime. And you take on, you live a different life at night. You're Sherry by day and Cherie by night. Sherry, what do you do at night, huh? You go prowling, go out on the streets. Okay, let's take a, okay, same brush, small flat brush here. Wash some of that purple out. Not a big deal if there's still some mixed in, but let's go ahead and wash it out a little bit. Okay, and let's take um, my white paint here. Let's take a big scoop of that. Bring it over here. I'm going to mix this in with my phthalo blue. Oh, jeez. There we go. That's a good light blue. And I want it to be the same value or darker or a, a darker value than this blue, okay? So I'm mixing it up here. There we go. We want a good... Oh, there we go. There's a good pretty blue. There we go. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. I'm going to try to stay down the middle. I want the... I'm going to kind of stay inside where I've already painted, basically, okay? I'm going to stay inside here. I'm going to try to leave some of this stuff showing through so I can see the background. But I'm painting over a lot of the purple, is mainly what I'm doing. Okay, so the purple's like kind of around the blue. The blue's basically on top of the purple. Okay, so I'm covering up about half of the purple that I painted. Mm, kind of feeling. Mikey, you still out there? Hey, Mikey, I'm sorry about your Denver Broncos. Come here and shit on my lions. I know they suck. You know your Broncos suck too, right? They don't suck as bad, though.
Hey, the Lions beat the Cardinals. That was unexpected. You know it's unexpected the fucking Cincinnati Bengals just coming out and being nuts over this year. What happened? They just really turned it on. They're looking pretty good. Okay, I have a prediction for any football fans out there. I had uh, one of the guys I work with goes uh, when Burrow was drafted to the Bengals because uh, the Bengals were just terrible. They got like, first overall pick or something, and they got Joe Burrow. And I go, yeah, but what do you really think is gonna do in Cincinnati? He goes, he's probably gonna like take him to the Super Bowl or get some playoff wins. And I was like, really? And he said, yeah. And I said, you know what I think is gonna happen? I think he's gonna go only because being through it. Dude, your Browns are not bad. Yeah, what happened with the Bengals? Like, it's crazy. But what I said was like, you know, only just only from experience, speaking from my own perspective, I think Burrow is going to be another Matthew Stafford, where you're in a shitty organization. It's kind of the same thing so far also. Like, first year or two or whatever, he does good, but then gets hurt. Exact same thing as Stafford. And then, like, this second or third year, Stafford does incredible. It was his... He was drafted in 2009. He got hurt in 2009, I think. And he didn't play much of 2010. And in 2011, he had this incredible year. Everyone was going crazy about Stafford. And um, they went to the playoffs in 2011. Lost to the Saints with uh, Drew Brees. And then um, what happened was uh, after that, he had a bunch of decent years but couldn't get back to the playoffs until 2014. And that's just where they were. They were in, like, limbo. And he was always good, but the team sucked around him, and management sucked. And I think that's what's going to happen to Joe Burrow. I don't think he's, I don't know, he's not Tom Brady. He's not, maybe he is. I don't know, maybe he is. But here's the thing. I don't know if that really matters at a certain point. At a certain point, it's a team sport. The team sucks. You suck. Um, Like, I can't say that all the Bengals' success is just Joe Burrow. I mean, they got Jamar Chase, who Jamar Chase and him were college players together. Got a new coach. They finally moved on from that one coach they had forever that was just mediocre and had him suck him forever. Um, so, um, I'm predicting that Joe Burrow goes away. I think Joe Burrow's a great quarterback. I just think in Cincinnati, his talents are going to be wasted. I mean, I just think that's what's going to happen. And... We'll see if he stays there long or leaves. Okay, sign your painting. Let's paint that bottom edge. And, hey, today's winner um, was... Let's see who guessed it. The correct answer was H. So, the question today was, which of these famous uh, scientists had mad drip? Uh, Correct answer being H, Thomas Edison. And that was Gala. Galate, you win a free painting. Congratulations. Um, you know, tell me what you want, and I'll send it to you, okay? All right, let's paint our bottom edge here. Oh, no. Okay, there we go. All right, let's paint our bottom edge. And we've signed our painting, so it's a fancy official painting. And then let's paint this bottom edge. Let's, uh, we'll, um... Maybe, uh, let's take a shot and sign off, okay? Thank you all for watching, and, um, yeah, the Lions suck, I know, Mikey. I don't want to talk about it anymore, okay? Okay, so, um, okay, um, Batman movies are overdone, Spider-Man's getting there, too. Um, let's see, what else did we talk about? Um, Joe Burrow is a great quarterback, but he's probably going to be wasted in Cincinnati despite this great year he's having. Um, Top Gun sucked, and it will always suck. Um, Calate got some Christmas poonanny. Um, I got a bidet and nothing else despite spending hundreds of dollars on gifts for my family. Um, what else? Um, Galileo said, Galileo, because his outfits were out of this world. That's funny. 
Okay, well, uh, thank you guys, and, you know, another Hammered Wednesday. Thank you guys, and I'll be back next Wednesday. Look for... Everyone needs to start following me on TikTok, because I'm about to drop TikToks this week. Okay? Get on my TikTok level, TikTok level, okay? Okay, uh, thank you guys. Bye!